Hey, Ronnie, I, I want to tell you something, but no offense, okay? Sure. I'm about to punch you in the face, <laughs> but no offense, okay? None taken. <laughs> Totes. <laughs> On this show, things that men over the age of 50 should never say. If you say these things, you are going to look like a douchebag. And there's a bunch of them. Next on Men Are So Smart. So there comes a time in every man's life when he has to give up things. For instance, last week I gave up dating. My wife said, no more. That's it. <laughs> Certain things that you say make you look like an idiot, like a total douche. And so we have this list of things today that we're going to share that men over the age of 50 should never, ever say. Ronnie, why don't you kick things off for us, okay? So this one, this is one you say you hear a lot, and I, I hadn't heard it, but amazeballs. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's what I hear. We went to Strings Cafe, and, man, their pasta, amazeballs. I have to agree. Their pasta it is, is pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. It says... Uh, See, now you say it. <laughs> yes, a special rule for deciding whether to use a word like amazeballs in his adult conversation. If the kids in a pre-teen drama on the Disney Channel would have to say it, I do not. <laughs> I think that's a pretty that's rule. A great that's a rule. good rule of thumb. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, next up. How much should we tip? Okay, look. The... <sighs> This is you. If you say that, you're making men look bad. If you're 50 years old and you can't figure out 15 percent of your check, uh, it, you know, oh, the check's 100 dollars. How much is 15 percent? Uh, 50. As a general rule of thumb, okay. Uh, and I in California we pay pretty high taxes, but our, in fact our taxes here. Are, Eight and three quarters percent. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. It makes me feel so much better. So if you take the tax mm -hmm. and double it, you've basically tipped uh, 17 and a half percent. Mm -hmm. So that's a good tip. And, and then even from there, I usually round up to the nearest dollar. You know, a, a rule, a rule I kind of live by is, is it, is the bad service really the fault of the server? Or could it be a problem in the kitchen? There's a lot of things. And so not tipping is not acceptable. No. Uh, giving a little less. Uh, you know, basically, if I give you 15%, I thought you did an okay job. That's it. You know, if you did a fantastic job, I'm going to I'm gonna tip you 20 to 25%. Yeah. I just don't want to be known as Lou Gallagher. That guy is cheap. <laughs> So there you go. You, if you say those sort of things, you're going to sound like a douche. Okay, this next one. Okay. Hook up. That mm, yeah. is totally, that's a college thing. Uh huh. Old farts should not be saying hook up. Uh, I would agree with you. Um, and, you know, honestly, I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, I think that's... it's got to be let's get it on. <laughs> okay, from here forward, <laughs> going forward. Let's get it on. <laughs> does that make sense? Does that make sense? Mm. I know people that do that, and really what it's doing is trying to further illustrate their point that they've already driven into your head a hundred times. Does that make sense? Come on, agree with me. I don't need to hear that. Right. If you're over 50, don't be saying that crap. Okay, now this one we both agreed on, literally. I literally hear that a thousand times a day. I do. <laughs> it's it's the worst. We're no fans of grammar purists, but even they have a point about this one. When most people punctuate a sentence with literally, they don't literally mean literally. No, if no. they literally meant that, they wouldn't say literally. Yeah. What they mean is probably figuratively. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or do they mean literally, but they're confused by what literally means. Exactly. Literally. Yeah. So well, no, figuratively. <laughs> Literally is one of those words. You can drop it. Adorbs. Oh, God. Oh, that little kitty in the video is adorbs. Totes. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. It's so funny when you're this old. And I know, I know you're looking at me and you're going, yeah, you are old. <laughs> when you're this old and you hear that kind of talk, you go, oh, man. 
You do one of these. What the heck? Uh, it is. It seems a little bit out of place. All right. Uh, oh, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> if you're waiting for a high five to be reciprocated, but the other guy's hand hasn't budged, that's when you pretend you're doing something else. Yeah, it's you like take this. your hand down. Woo! Yeah, my head. My hair. Yeah. Back of my head itches. Uh, and yeah, or you try to reach up and touch the ceiling fan. Yeah. Yeah, Leaning don't against leave the me wall. hanging. <laughs> uh, yeah, just stretching out. Okay, if you're over 50, here's something you shouldn't say. Let's do some shots. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'll tell you a funny story. I think this happened last uh, last Friday night it was. I was out in the garage, and uh, I've probably explained this maybe too many times, but if you're new to the show, both my wife and I work, and, and so uh, we're, we're apart the whole day. We have a little cocktail hour that we do at about 6 o'clock until about 7, and then it's about time for dinner. And um, I like to have a nice little bottle of tequila. And I it, the way that I drink it is less than half a shot. Just enough to put a little salt on my hand, take that little shot like that. It's not, I mean... It's not like I'm drinking a whole bottle. I take a shot, and I got to tell you, it's the greatest thing in the world. It really is. Not And to not overdo it, but doing shots, let's do shots at a bar if you're over 50. You know, maybe the only caveat to that would be is if, if you're at a resort somewhere, if you're like in Tijuana, mm. and they serve you some fake uh, Jose Cuervo Especial, for a buck, then you know it's 90% water. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, okay. The word supposedly uh, doesn't exist. It's basically to the English language what Crocs are to the shoe world. <laughs> that's it. That is literally that's it. No offense, Ron. <laughs> How about irregardless? Uh, there is no such word. <laughs> the word is regardless. I heard an announcer on a wild card game the other night say that exact same thing, irregardless of his position. No, it's regardless. regardless. Thank you. Yeah. Bing. Oh, now this one, this was one of our favorites. No offense. Oh, none taken. Yeah. So it's kind of like saying, not to punch you in the face <laughs> <laughs> before you actually punch somebody in the face. <laughs> saying no offense is not a magic spell that stops the offensive thing you're about to say from being offensive. When you say no offense, you're not asking for leniency. You're telling them you're about to rip into them. Yeah, I don't even care. No offense, but those glasses are awful. <laughs> None taken. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, there's another one coming from a guy whose radio name is Sweet Lou Gallagher. And I'm guilty of this one. If you're over 50 and you just use the word sweet <laughs> as an exclamation after hearing some amazingly good news, we don't need to tell you that you've done wrong. All you have to do is look around the room and gauge everyone's reaction. And it's going to be, oh my God, the old guy is trying too hard. <laughs> well, and I like to spell it S A dash w oh, so we so wheat okay so yes it's two syllables emphasis on wheat got it <laughs> yes now here's another one yellow <sighs> it's right up there with bye bye yeah working hard or hardly working <laughs> you know how much i hate that one. oh god and you know i sometimes i just want to say to the person dude look the first 48,000 times I heard somebody say that, I got I got a chuckle. Okay, now, lay that to rest, please. First time I heard it, I fell off my dinosaur laughing. Really? Was it yes. a brontosaurus? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, the interwebs. Now, look, I, I kid and say the internets all the time, but I do that on purpose to sound like an old guy. Back when you were younger, calling the internet the interwebs was funny. Because you were pretending to be some dense old rude dude. See, that's me. Who couldn't understand the modern technology. Can I get that information on the interwebs? Yeah, that's totally not you. Well, guess what? You're in your 50s now, and it's only a matter of time before some new technology comes along that you don't quite get. 
it's time to stop making fun of people who might be you in a few years. So I follow ex-Sacramento King uh, Scott Pollard on Twitter. And he's he's hilarious, by the way. Okay. He's, and he's just so down to earth. Um, but he calls it the Twitters. <laughs> I'm going to be posting a picture on the Twitters. I'm going to steal that. And I'm sure it's uh, tongue in cheek because yeah. he's a he's a very pretty smart guy. Savvy. Actually. He's very savvy. So yeah, the Twitters. Uh, this next one. <laughs> Is it that time of month? What? Oh, I didn't see that one. I think it's okay as long as you start along, start it off with, no offense. <laughs> None take. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is it that time of month? <laughs> the answer to that question is, none of your business. Uh -huh. Yeah, the question should not be asked. Also, uh, we mean this in the most supportive, non-judgmental way possible. No offense. We're shocked you're still getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> You know that every thought that pops in your brain isn't something that needs to be said out loud. Got to filter it somewhere between here and here. It's got to be filtered. Next one. Uh, speaking of not getting laid, <laughs> try this with a, a single attractive girl at the bar. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> ma'am? Rut row. Do you know what's going to happen if you uh, call somebody ma'am yeah. in this day and age? My friends, I know you're trying to be respectful and you're trying to have manners. But I don't think ma'am is fit for play in the Me Too era. No. No, that's... I, I'm not sure. I mean, you know what? If you're talking to somebody that it's like... 80 years old? A Colonel Sanders, maybe. Yes. Uh, somebody that's ad very advanced in age, they might enjoy hearing ma'am. But anybody uh, your age or younger, mm, not so much. Yep. Uh, this next one. Oh, and I hear this. Bay. Y yeah. Y you know what it means? Right? It's yeah, it's like my babes or my baby or before all else. Oh wow. Thank you. Good night, Chicago. I was not aware of that. Yes, that's what it wow. means. Well, basically it says you should never try to pick up high school lingo when you're twenty two years removed or longer for us from high school. Mm hmm Bay. No good. Nah, no bad. Right, I'll tell you what, we're we I think we're gonna end on this one here, Ronnie. Uh, and, and because I, I, I want to elaborate on it. Um, if you're over 50, you should not say so-and-so, like a pop star, okay. is so hot. You know, Oops. Ah, we just, Ronnie and I had this conversation about Sarah Hyland. Oh, yeah. I had made a comment to my wife while we were watching Modern Family that I thought she was very attractive. And I caught a ration of crap because she's a teenager. You're, you're, that's a teenager. Well, guess what? She's 28, 28 years, years old. old. Okay, there's a little difference. And here's what I wanted to get to, Ron. And I might open up a whole can of worms here. I'm not sure, but I have this theory. And when we were, 16, 17 and 18, and we were, um, you know, dealing with all kinds of hormones and testosterone and such, um, and girls became a big thing. We lusted after girls that were 17 and 18 years old. Right. And so that's what we learned. That's what we knew at the time was these girls who are extremely physically fit and just coming into their own. Right. Some developing more quickly than others. <laughs> yeah. And so that's the way we learned about girls. They looked like that. And they wore those tight jeans and bell bottoms in the 70s. And, and the, the cheerleader tube, outfits. Tube tops, that <laughs> sort of things. Yep. Okay, so that. But what I'm saying is now we're over 50. Yeah. And we know... At least I should say rational men know that there is no chance on God's green earth that someone like that is going to be attracted to us for any reason other than money. Right. right other right, right. than money. Yeah. 
okay? But what I'm saying is, when we make a comment like this, that, okay, Sarah Hyland is so hot, it doesn't mean we're going to rush out and ring her doorbell and try to take her out and seduce her. I'm going after that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give me some of that. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's like, uh, and I'm not asking for forgiveness here, but it's like we hearken back to a time when we found girls that had those shapes and bodies to be extremely attractive. Do you care to add to that in any way? Well, you know what? We'll be watching TV, and Vicky, and I, I hold my tongue pretty well, but Vicky a lot of times will say, wow, she is attractive. Mm -hmm. And I go, huh, I hadn't noticed. Or uh -huh. try to play it off a little bit right. when in my heart of hearts, I'm thinking, wow, that girl is stunning. Super hot. She's yeah. stunning. Yep. So I know that's how it works in my house. Yep. All right. That'll uh, conclude our list of things. We may even have a part two to this. Because there's a whole <laughs> lot more. There are. There's tons a more. A whole lot of mo. If you have some... Uh, some things that a man over the age of 50 should not be saying, please leave them below in the comments. Yep. Love we'd, to en see them. we'd enjoy hearing yep. what you have to say. And as I've said many times on this show, uh, the chances are very good. You'll get a comment back, a reply, uh, a thumbs up, something from us indicating that, yes, we saw your comments. We read them all. We try to reply to them all. Um, I, I, I know I always say this, but we want to be the most easily accessible guys on YouTube. You need to get a hold of us. We're there. You know what? Can I just add this also? Yeah. You had a little event at uh, one of our sponsors up here, Trico Welding, yesterday. Mm -hmm. I got to meet a couple of our fans that were great. Uh, one, Matt McGrew. Mm -hmm. And we talked uh, probably for half long enough for me to get a sunburn. Mm, I, my wife said that to me yesterday. She you yes. got some sun. So, and he's absolutely, he's delightful. Yeah. So our fans are amazing. We appreciate our fans. His wife, Tisha. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she comments quite a bit on the show. Mm -hmm. So absolutely leave some comments, uh, you know, and maybe we will see one of our meet and greet events sometime. That would be terrific. Give the show a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell, please. Uh, if you're in the market for goods or services, uh, be sure and go to our sponsors. You'll find information and specials that you can get just for being a viewer of the show, and those will be listed as well. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.